Yeah, there seems to be, uh, from the students, a real desire to, to get better at their, their rhythm skills, you know? Um, there's a number of people who teach and are really good at soloing, and uh, of course, I'm a guitar player, I love to solo, but I think maybe if I have a reputation, some of it has to do with playing good time and um, being able to come up with guitar parts that work in the group situation. And it's really healthy that over the years, so many students are becoming more and more interested in, in being a part of the team rather than being the guy out front, you know? Uh, so that's basically what we talk about. We'll sit around in my open counseling, we'll sit around, turn on the drum machine, and we'll just start creating grooves and we'll talk about the, the theory of arranging, basically. You know, one guy will play a low part, and another guy will play a high part, and we try to make the parts work, because I can teach you any number of guitar parts from a James Brown record or Earth, Wind and Fire, but the real important education is to learn how to create those parts yourself. So uh, it's great to see the students want to do that, and not just worry about uh, what scale to play over E7 sharp 11, you know. Yeah, um, well, if we're, if we're playing a, a, like just a, a groove in D, so if that's the basic groove, uh, Maybe the keyboard player is playing something like that. And I, I try to tell them that maybe, if that's it, maybe all you got to do is a Or if the range of the, of the guitar player, if there's two guitar players, maybe the guitar player is playing this. Maybe you should be up here. And then we talk about things like uh, skank technique, which is kind of particular to funk, which is uh, a single note technique where you play the note, but you also get the percussion of the guitar. Right, and that's, that's really a, a funk technique, so everybody loves that. <laughs> uh, most of this uh, funk stuff that I'm known for is, is 16th note based, you know, so it's a lot of the hand moving in 16th note, so. of stuff, you know, single notes and chords. Uh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the focus right now. I'm trying to uh, do a little less road work right now and uh, get my first CD out there. And so I started working on that, and um, I'm hoping that by March of 07, I'll be able to uh, proudly hold up a, a copy of my CD. And uh, it's been a long time coming. Looking forward to finishing it. Oh, yeah. Um, well, uh, on my website, there's an old song that I, uh, that I used to play, and I think I'll be doing a new version of that. God, I haven't played it for a while. I hope I don't screw it. Um, uh. That's kind of a melodic... Uh, that's the melodic hook for one of the tunes. And uh, the other ones, they're difficult to just sit here and play, you know, as a guitar player because they're, you know, ensemble based. But it's all going to be uh, groove, funky stuff. So.